Disney has proven that they are not only incapable, but they are also unwilling of adapting any real legend stories into their canon. They much preferred to throw it away, make Boba Fett a pansy, and make us look at Kylo Ren for three movies. <laughs> Hi y'all, Snarky Jay Cosplay here. So the news hit Reddit and pretty much everywhere else on the internet that Dave Filoni's upcoming Star Wars film is supposedly going to be titled Star Wars Heir to the Empire. Now this seems like a huge deal. For those that don't know or aren't as familiar with the now not canon extended universe of Star Wars, Heir to the Empire is actually the first book of the trilogy that is all about Grand and Admiral Thrawn. Star Wars Heir to the Empire was released in 1991 and it was so well received that it was actually a number one New York Times bestseller for quite a bit of time. Heir to the Empire's timeline is set just five years after the events of Return of the Jedi. While Luke Skywalker is quickly becoming the hope of a new line of Jedi Knights, what is left of the Imperial fleet at this point is being taken over by Grand Admiral Thrawn who supposedly has in information on how to completely bring down the New Republic. Heir to the Empire is an incredibly well-loved book and it's also part of maybe one of the highest rated legend stories in Star Wars canon. Everybody that's ever read this really knows what a huge threat Grand Admiral Thrawn is, it's why he has such a big fan base, and stories like Heir to the Empire are what really have so many people stoked for Grand Admiral Thrawn's eventual appearance in the Ahsoka series. Now there's already a lot Lot of questioning and theorizing as to what exactly Dave Filoni's Heir to the Empire film will bring to the table. I do have to say that there's literally no way that Dave Filoni's Heir to the Empire is going to be an exact adaptation of the Timothy Zahn book. It's just impossible. If we look at what Disney did with Star Wars post Return of the Jedi, and we look at the events and the canon set up by Dave Filoni himself, along with Jon Favreau in the Mandoverse, it's physically impossible for the exact events that occurred in Heir to the Empire to exist in line with what has already been established by Disney Star Wars. And at the end of the day, Disney has proven that they are not only incapable, but they are also unwilling of adapting any real legends stories into their canon, they just don't give a shit about the years of material and quality storylines that they had just waiting for them. They much preferred to throw it away, make Boba Fett a pansy, and make us look at Kylo Ren for three movies. However, that is not to say that I'm without hope for Dave Filoni's Heir to the Empire. If we take a look at something like the Marvel Cinematic Universe, that's basically what Marvel has been doing for years. They've been taking well-known comic titles, using them for films, and then adapting the storylines quite a bit in order to make them work in a bigger film setting. For example, Captain America Civil War was one of the most anticipated Marvel films probably ever, and while it uses some of the same themes of the comic arc with the same title, it's not a direct adaptation. The comic and the film are different, but both are enjoyable in their own ways. And that's what I think is going to happen with Heir to the Empire. It might not be a direct adaptation of the book, but it might have similar themes and some similar events. Supposedly, Heir to the Empire is basically all Dave Filoni's thing. Jon Favreau is only set to produce, so Heir to the Empire is going to be Dave Filoni's baby. Admittedly, I'm not sure how I feel about that because it's been said that Dave Filoni was the main cook in the kitchen that produced The Mandalorian season 3 and I don't think I need to remind anybody how I felt about that. But I am excited to see more content from Star Wars Legends slowly make its way into Disney canon and I'm hoping that Heir to the Empire is another successful and worth watching entry into the Star Wars franchise. And that's all from me. I've been Snarky J. Thank you so much for watching please don't forget to like and subscribe and let me know your thoughts on Dave Filoni's upcoming Star Wars film in the comments below.